How's it going guys, Real FTN here and welcome to the Prime Icon Henrik Larsson Play Review. EA dropped three of the new Prime Icons and one of them was this Henrik Larsson card. Obviously this card looks really really good. Starting off with his work rate, not the best one that I prefer high high. Obviously really really bad for his stamina. It should, I mean I prefer high low but high medium works as well. And then amazing weak foot with four stars obviously helps with on the ball side of the pitch. And you know helps in the crucial times as well. But not the best of skill moves with only 3 stars does make it hard you know, for him to run with the ball or for any striker or any player who has only 3 star skill moves. You cannot do a lot of dribbling with them. But if you look at his stats, 90 pace, 85 dribbling, 89 shooting, 76 passing and 70 physical. Really great, really great pace, good dribbling, good shooting. Not the best of passing but that really doesn't matter and then not the greatest of physical. And uh, he's 5'10 so that's understandable and if you look further at his in-game stats obviously he's got really good pace with 90 overall 92 acceleration and 80 sprint speed with hunter camps that obviously goes to 99 he's got really good shooting good positioning you know 89 amazing finishing 93 then decent shot power with 83 and decent long shots with 84 passing doesn't really matter he's got a great curve with 88 dribbling is really good i believe overall with the 89 agility and 82 balance I think balance could have been a bit higher, you know, and uh, but it is how it is. Reaction is 92, dribbling itself is 84, and then 84 composure, so that is pretty decent. And then he's got amazing heading accuracy with 96. For someone who's 5'10", with 92 jumping is amazing. And then again, he's got amazing stamina with 86. Not the best of strengths with only 65 and great aggression. But stamina, again, like I said, with high, high work rate, it can be really really harmful and they must start off by saying that he is really really pacey guys you know he's really quick on or off the ball he's able to get past his openers really quick you know and really easily and obviously his finishing is great as well so he's able to score i think his finishing is clinical if you're able to create some space for yourself or not even space you know at times he is able to just you know, if you're able to just shoot with him he's able to get it in and even with his weak foot which is obviously great four stars and uh, like I said, it's really needed. He is also great on that. And so his finishing overall is amazing. And then his dribbling, I believe, is really good as well. Not the greatest, I believe, which I will break down in a second. But it is really good, you know. It's good enough to be able to create space for yourself. And then his negatives are his skill moves, which we all know, you know, only three stars. So that's not the greatest. He's not able to do a few of those skills that, you know, you can easily do. And so at times he is really predictable. And also his strength, not the not the best. I had a few clips or like a lot of moments in the game where, you know, if there is a quick defender with better strength, they are able to get the ball with, from him because he's only got around 60 strength. But like I said about dribbling, guys, I've used many players, for example, you know, player of the month, Sergio Aguero or Lionel Messi, you know, any of his cards or even Alessandrini's in form. They've got amazing agility and balance, you know, and you feel like, you know, you're not actually trying to do something they are able to get it done with their amazing agility and balance but with this card he's got agility and balance around 85 which i believe it is really good but you know after using those cards you are able to feel it right away and so for me he's not he's, he doesn't have the best of dribbling but it is still pretty good to be able to create space and you know get behind the players and score and like i said he is really clinical you know he's got amazing finishing and he's only worth 400k you know his sbc so i would recommend you guys to do it because he is really really good and uh, I mean, if you need a striker that you know you just need to score goals from, I think this is the guy. But that was it for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one.